Hey guys, so we want to try some live experiments, but rather than being in the studio, this time we're actually in Kathmandu in Nepal. We, tomorrow, are trekking up to Everest Base Camp. It's going to take us a couple of weeks to get there and to get back down again. Um, so we thought it'd be a great opportunity to have a look at what changes as you go up higher to a high altitude. Will the experiments behave differently? We don't know. So the first one we want to try is, is this one. We want to have a look at the temperature that water boils at. All right. Okay, now this is a temperature probe. Currently saying we're about 28 degrees, so I'm going to put on our mug of water, stick the temperature probe in, and wait. This may take some time. That is well and truly boiling at a temperature of 97 degrees. Now that is because we are at 1,304 meters in Kathmandu. So at 1,304 meters, water boils at 97 degrees. Well, this seems to be taking forever compared to down in Kathmandu. Uh, it's just been sat here for about 10 minutes. We're at about 74 degrees. We're starting to get some bubbles. Um, yeah, this is interesting. Right, I think we've got it. So water boils at 3,500 meters at 91 degrees Celsius. So that's six degrees less than when we're down in Kathmandu and nine degrees less than when we're down in London at sea level. I wonder what's gonna happen when we push up even higher, another 2,000 meters to Everest Base Camp. It's a friendly yak, comes with a bit of science. All right, we got it. That water is definitely boiling at 82 degrees. So uh, back in Kathmandu, it was, I think it was 97, then it dropped to 92 when we got up to three and a half thousand meters. And here at 5,364 meters, it's boiling at 82 degrees. Now when you heat up water, you give energy to the water molecules and they turn from a liquid to a gas. They evaporate off, but some of that evaporated gas sits just above the water's surface as, as an evaporated vapor. Now, water actually boils when the pressure of that evaporated vapor matches the atmospheric pressure all around it. So as we've come higher and higher up the mountain, now right up to over 5,000 meters up, there's a lot less air above us, a lot less atmosphere. So the atmospheric pressure is less. That means that to hit that balance point where you get the pressure of the water vapor matching the pressure of the atmospheric pressure, you reach that a lot quicker. And when you reach that point, the, uh, the, the gas bubbles can start to form in the liquid and actually boil off. So we only need to reach a much lower pressure of that slight evaporated vapor above that level of water. And that is why water boils at a lower temperature at altitude. <laughs> 